Okay. The morning. I was after. expecting more. Yeah, I was too. <clears throat> like I was expecting, he was outside. He could have interviewed her, and uh... got tried to get some sort of information out of her. That's the chief inspector's wife. His I know boss it. would definitely hear about it. And then he would have to explain to his boss why he was talking to his wife and why he was there at the party. So I don't know if he talked to the chief yet. I so don't know. There's a lot of questions that would be asked for, for him or to him. <clears throat> the morning after starts off quiet. Even the whole of Salem while residences seems unusually still. The open hallway, when I step out, is devoid of tenants. No sounds coming from the other units, is, units either. It's almost as if something's brewing on the horizon. Peaceful night's sleep still does wonders for the mood, though. I can't even remember the last time I've slept without anything urgent interrupting. It's a nice break from all the bad news lately. If it wasn't for the insistent buzzing in my pocket waking me up, I'd sleep in. The ringing has stopped before I could move somewhere private. But sleep has also been effectively kicked out of my system by then. Pity. I could use a little more rest until I have to face the other storm. <clears throat> of course, I owe Rebecca an explanation. It doesn't matter if it's the whole truth or another hastily spun tale... Although I haven't really figured out how to go about this yet. Unlike Zack and Isabella, who don't usually ask questions and are content with what little I could share, Rebecca's rather quick to the trigger. It will have to be set aside for later, though. Sup, Bob Astral Deluxe City? Baggers, watch out. Can't be the chief's name trouble? stares back at me, lie. almost as, cool as if it's Pretty mocking me. Sad. It would have been nice to just chill after last night, or maybe half listen to the news. Sure, it's the same thing we've been hearing lately. Still beat standing outside in the chilly Luxburn morning on the phone with my boss. Okay, that ringtone is getting in my head over your voice. <laughs> <laughs Sighing, I answer it, if only to get this over with. Right? Where are you right now? Now that's a tone I didn't expect from him at this hour. <clears throat> Just thinking about how this'll go already gives me a headache. Immediately I reach up and pinch the bridge of my nose to stave it off. This is why I won't ever drink myself senseless. What was that? Nothing, Chief. A pleasant morning to you, too. He's probably calling to rag on me or complain about his wife, which is really none of my business unless it affects my case. It seems like the usual rich man cheats on wife deal. Although I would have followed up on it if it were somebody else's wife. But figuring it's the chief's, hey, I trust him to come clean if the missus is related to the right shady dealings. This is why I left before they even hauled the woman out last night. I'm not going to go around investigating cheating husbands and wives when it's probably just that. Chief appears to have a different idea in mind, though. There's nothing pleasant in the morning. Anyway, where are you? I told you millions of times before to keep your lines open. He did, and not only him. Zack, Rebecca, Isabella, all of them have said the same thing numerous times in the past. But I was undercover last night. A phone call is the last thing I want to happen. When there are other things I need to focus on at the, sa at the time. Besides, we have radios and work-issued phones. Why isn't he using those channels if this is urgent? Just woke up, sir. As awesome as it is to hear your voice this morning, it really is early. If you could give me a few minutes just to wake myself up, that'd be swell. No need for that. This won't take long. Is something wrong? Am I needed at the precinct ASAP? Oh no, everything's good over there. Just... Take this personally, all right? You're off the Luxbourne firm case. Start today. 
Well, I did not expect to hear that either. This must be some kind of cosmic joke. I allow some awkward seconds to pass. Chief must be pulling another one of his awful pranks. Out of his bad mood or a severe hangover, maybe? Everyone knows that when given the chance, he exercises no control with his drinking. If it wasn't for his wife causing a stir, he'd probably be trashed an hour in at the party. He likely drank more after they threw her out of the ballroom. Besides, his sense of humor has never been good. It's just infuriating most of the time. But when he doesn't follow it up... If I sound a tiny bit frustrated speaking to my superior, I'm not the one to blame. Wait, no. What? Are you kidding, Chief? Is this one of your practical jokes again? The temps won't say anything about it, but I... It's not that. They're orders from the higher-ups. Ah, the higher-ups. Yes, my favorite word. Since when did the higher-ups ever care about what the criminal investigation department did? As far as I could tell, they don't give a hoot if CID is filled with cold cases, as long as we keep the spending low. When I need to view those old case files, though, they're locked away in the archives. You're going to have to check with the higher-ups. I need access to those reports. See if the higher-ups would allow it. Every step, every move in this case, there isn't one that hasn't been gated by some authority. If it's not the chief, it's the commissioner. Or, so they always tell me. It makes me... It makes one wonder why they even bothered assigning it to anyone. Not a single one of them has done anything to help move the case. And they wonder why it has taken this long for even a hint of progress to show. You can't just drop this on me. You can't just take me off like that. Yes, I can. And I'm sorry, Ashton. You're a good detective. One of the best I've seen in years, but... Three years, Chief. Three years! Three years since that anonymous tech leak blew up. Since Luke Wright's name was openly linked to several nasty dealings within Luxburn's corporate world, some of them involving deaths. Three years, and I was the only one who made it this far. Made so much progress that officers with more experience weren't able to do when they handled this case. Just within a year, and with barely any help from the dang brass at that. Of course I'll be pissed. Do you know what would have happened? If I didn't work my ass off on this thing, if I didn't dedicate a whole year of my time on it, it would have gone cold, like every fucking case Luke Wright has been linked to. I saved this from getting thrown into the archives, sir. I'm getting close. If you could just... I'm fully aware of what you've done, Frey, but the Commissioner hasn't been happy with your progress. Still too slow by their standards. Too slow? Well, what about those reports I filed? I've documented every freaking thing for them. I've given you every important lead I can gather. Isn't that enough? They need results, not a bunch of research papers. Not one baseless assumption after another. Concrete proof, Frey. I'm really sorry. They've already made a decision. They're going to pass this on to someone who's been in the force longer. Someone who has more experience. Someone who has more experience? Oh, of he's getting replaced. Huh? Of course he's getting replaced. Yeah. Of course. They meant nothing by it, but you're still too young to work on a case this big. Either that's, um, just a random excuse or they're afraid that he's gonna find something and it'll link all of them to whatever the case is like they're trying mm -hmm. to hide it cover it up the but chief they... obviously has something uh has a little something to do with uh marianne's uh case and uh 
and it seems like Luke has something to do with uh, the chief's wife. What about Marianne? Um, not Marianne. Uh, Luke's wife. Hannah. I think has something going on with Chief. Well, Chief Keats, I guess, flirting with her, but she, Hannah doesn't really like that. She doesn't like being near the Chief because he does that. Right. From what I gathered when we were playing with, um, playing Hana's route. Chief, I've already done more than what those old farts ever did behind their desks. All of it within just a year of being assigned to this. Watch your language, Fry. Those are your superiors, your. I'm not some damn rookie fresh out of training. I'm as qualified as they are. Futile. I know it is. They'd never say it within my earshot, but from the very minute I stepped into their precinct, a lot of them had underestimated me. From their stares alone to the assignments I get. To them, I'm still just a kid. Too young, too green, too inexperienced. And once they pull that card on me, every argument I have gets thrown out the window. No matter how logical it is, how much I've accomplished, what the records say, or the amount of work I've put in every investigation they've thrown my way. We're all aware of your skills, Kate. You wouldn't have that badge and rank if you weren't good enough. However, this case is just not for you. Too high profile, too risky to put a good officer like you in arm's way. Can he even hear himself? That reasoning in of itself... The reasoning is odd in itself. No one joins this line of work without knowing the dangers of it. Don't I get a second chance? You said it yourself. I'm a good detective. It'll just be a matter of time before we can close this. It doesn't matter what I think, Frey. You're off the case, and that's final. I expect all related files and documents on my desk by Monday morning. And don't even try to go touch anything. I know how hard-headed and determined you are. Chief, please... A few more weeks. I'll have the proper evidence left on your desk by then. I swear it won't take longer than that. Friday's right, too late, boy. I've already informed the other officers. You aren't to be allowed access until you've been given a new assignment. Help just keep out of the precinct, Fry. Take the weekend off. Seriously, Chief, is this about last night? If this is about me being at that party, I have a good reason for... Ooh. Makes me pause. His wary tone, the sudden careful note in his voice. Slowly a frown forms in my face, my eyebrows knitting together in confusion. Much as I hate to say this about my own boss, there's also suspicion in it. Hard not to think of it that way, seeing how he acted around Hana Wright last night. Is he worried? Why should he be? Everyone who's anyone was invited. I didn't doubt for a second why he received an invite, even if his presence was questionable. There's something wrong, and I've unintentionally walked into it. All I have is the sneaking suspicion, but when one looks at this from a different angle, put everything together. Why the heck I've been taken off the case might be for the same reason he was there in the first place. Crap. Yes, Chief. I was. For a good reason. A friend invited me to go with her. What were you doing there? I know we don't have a strict rule against attending functions, but that was... He coughs and almost sounds like he's choking on his own... excuses? Lies? I don't want to accuse him of anything. Yet... He is someone I've respected since I joined LPD, even with his bizarre sense of humor and tendency to procrastinate. He's obviously competent enough to get the job done. He wouldn't be Chief Inspector of Luxburn Police if he wasn't. He wouldn't last years in service without some track record backing him up. Unless that, too, is a fluke, and what's backing him is not something... 
But someone... Oh. Oh, crap. F and heck. F and crap. Chief Harvey, about last night with the... Why does it matter, Fry? This isn't about that. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? I'll recite the whole dang oath we've taken upon being sworn into service if I can. But at this point, it seems too late to remind him of that. He's probably already moved from serving and protecting people to serving and protecting his own interests. Dang it. I suspected the upper brass of this, even the lower rank subordinates in the force. But for my own boss? Crap. No wonder that leak didn't lead anywhere. Someone closer might have been pulling the strings. I might have been set up to fail long before the freaking case had been assigned to me. But I don't want to give up. I don't want to just give this up. I don't want to believe I've wasted an entire year for this. I don't want this to be the kind of news to tell Professor Clark after all those promises I've given the man. I just want to know, sir, at the party, with Luke and Hannah Wright, you were... Monday, Detective Inspector. First thing in the morning. Every copy of the files you have, I want to see it all on my table. Understood? This isn't... Frey, am I understood? What else can I do other than smile and nod? With my own superior expecting an answer, using that tone, brushing my questions off as easy as discarding a dead body. Yes. Yes, sir. He gets the line as soon as the words are out. You're off the case, Frey. Just like that. Funny why this still caught me off guard. I've discovered years ago how different the actual thing is. How far from reality everything I've believed in as a dreamy-eyed kid. There are no high-speed pursuits every day, no thrilling gunfights or exciting cases every step of the way. Only paperwork, lots of red tape, and dealing with the politics and bureaucracy. I've set out to change things, hoping it'll make things better for the people I care about. It ended up changing me instead. Serves me right for being too idealistic, I guess. This is probably the universe telling me that it's better to remain the skeptic I really am. Now here I am, standing useless. Can't even do anything but grip my teeth and kick the wall. The... The person didn't even acknowledge my response. What did the poor wall ever do to you? It figures Rebecca would be the one to find me in this embarrassing state. Honestly, I don't like it when she sees me like this, which seems to happen a lot, regardless of what I want. Rebecca, now's not a good time. The concern I expect from her when I turn isn't there, however. Instead, she just looks... Well... The storm I left brewing last night... Right there on her face, ready to be unleashed. When is it ever a good time for you? You're always so busy with. with everything now. Now I find you here, sneaking out without even bothering with a proper goodbye. Not even a word. Really, I'm starting to think you're just keeping me around for my couch and my cooking. Becca, it's not what you're thinking. I wasn't planning on sneaking out. I was going to say goodbye. I just had to take this call. Although, I'm not gonna lie, couch is great. 10 out of 10. Let's sleep again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like it. Stop it with the jokes, Ashton. I'm not in the mood. Her bitterness is not lost on me. But at this point, our friendship and our lives, how does she still expect me to answer that? What am I supposed to tell her now? Uh, this reminds me. We haven't looked at his relationships with everyone. <clears throat> so, Elzebella's right here. Hannah's right there. Neutral. Zach's all the way up. Doesn't... Okay, so the people he really doesn't know are basically at their thresholds. Oh my gosh, look how low Luke's is. 
Oh, you're not gonna get that up. <laughs> oh, probably not. Rebecca, just barely. That's kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> what am I supposed to tell her now? Are you still mad about last night? She merely raises an eyebrow at me, which, to be honest, is all the response I need. Seeing her like this makes me believe those things Z-Man says. The part where Rebecca scares him, sometimes. I've certainly seen this more than once already. But the familiarity of it doesn't really take away from the downhill turn this conversation's starting to take. <clears throat> Only an awkward cough serves as a way to stall. Okay. Of course you're still mad. But whatever happened last night, I really am sorry. I'll apologize as many times as you want. If you want, I'd even kneel or something. Ashton, an apology is nice and all, but that's not what I wanted to hear from you today. All right, fine, okay. Where do you want to start? Oh, I don't know. I've honestly lost track of it by your third trip to the buffet table. I wasn't... <sighs> The drive up there took a bit. Can you blame me if I wanted to grab some appetizers? Oh, come on, Ash! For the whole evening? For the whole party? Please, don't tell me that's all you did! Because I've never known you as someone who pigs out! You even took great lengths to avoid me! Should I also mention how you ignored Zack? Sometimes I get the feeling you don't want to be seen with us in public. Some friendship, huh? I can definitely see why she'd be mad. I'd be kind of mad, too, that a friend would be ignoring me. But obviously, we know that he's he has good reason for it. You know it's not like that. It's never going to be like that, Becca. I was... Maybe you even just used me to get into the party. You're not wrong there. You said yes to being my plus one, but you were rather excited to just peel yourself off, weren't you? Honestly, I'm feeling a bit used. I couldn't even look her in the eye. <clears throat> it wasn't that I lied to her. I honestly wanted to be there. To keep Zack safe. To keep Rebecca safe. Just in case. Clyde, her family friend, who was still a party host by a person of interest, by a man accused years ago of murdering a person's wife to get what he wanted. <sighs> But then Chief showed up, on a ride happened, and Luke Wright just couldn't be bothered to die peacefully somewhere. All of a sudden, none of my original reasons mattered. If I was found out right then and there, heck, if Zack and Rebecca's connection with me was found out, who knows what might have happened. But Rebecca doesn't understand that doesn't understand what I can and can't say to keep them from harm. It's all in her eyes, in that tight line of her lips and her furrowed brows. The hurt. I'll ask this again. Just what were you up to during the party? What were you doing that you couldn't even take two seconds to make time for your friends? This day just is just off to a wonderful start. First my case, now... Becca. How do I even go about this? Stretch the truth or insist it's confidential? The truth. Stretch it. Obviously, I couldn't just say, hey, Becca, you know the rights? They are suspected to be ringleaders of a crime syndicate and crap like that. Protocol or otherwise, there are so many things I'm not allowed to tell others. Even if I am able to share Art. information with civilians... What? Art. Art? Oh, heart. It went down. Oh my god. <laughs> Even if I am able to share information with civilians, knowing anything could very well put them in danger. It's why I keep it vague. Obscure the facts, or when push comes to shove, stretch the truth and lie through my teeth. It's a necessity I've grown to deal with. It has already become a part of me, no matter how much I loathe doing it. I mentioned it, didn't I? 
I saw an old friend and I thought I'd catch up. Didn't really notice how long our chat got. You know what they say about time flying when you're having fun. And Lloyd is a fun guy. She doesn't look convinced. At all. Although she's the very picture of someone who's at least willing to listen. Her glare effectively takes a good 20 off my current years. I feel like a kid again, being reprimanded by my junior high teacher for sleeping in class. But getting away with that is easier than this one. It's the thing with someone you've been friends with for so long. They're the ones who know you inside out. Good grades wouldn't be enough for Rebecca to let this whole thing slide. So, this Lloyd is a friend of yours who was at the party. Yeah, we go way back in the police academy. Though, you wouldn't have met him. See, he mostly deals with teenagers and gets into a lot of messy stuff and... <sighs> Cut the shite. You're not a very good storyteller, Ash. Don't try to make up a character just so that you can lie to me. Why did I ever think this is a good idea? Although I'm not I making I thought you were the... actually going to tell the truth. Well, you were stretching the truth. You what? did... What? Stretching the truth. He was being truthful when he said that he was going to catch up with an old friend. He just never... actually did that, but he did see someone. He was... Stretching the truth. Really thin. Yeah. Although I'm not making those people up, only twisting the facts. For someone who's already angry beyond reason, everything will sound like an excuse. I'm not making stuff up. I did have a college mate named Lloyd. I think you would have liked him. You're both Scottish. He used to hang out a lot with Joey and Rashid, but they went off to work in London. Bunch of good guys. I should really ask if they're swinging by Lux anytime soon. That doesn't make things any better. You were there because I invited you, and you just up and turned your nose from me. You might as well have disappeared completely for all you cared. Just say you don't want to talk about it instead of lying to my face. I do feel guilty. Still, we've already been down this road. This is something I've done so repeatedly in the past. Something she's heard from me more times than all of my fingers could count. Something I'll just have to get over with at this moment. Something I'll just have to get over with at this moment. I'm sorry, you know that, Becca. I really, really am. I wouldn't do this shit if I didn't have a good reason to. And you know that I don't like you lying to me! If you can't tell the truth, just don't say anything and shut your gob! I swear, Ashton Frey, you are just so dense! I'm... I'm so angry, I can't even bear to look at you right now because I swear, I swear I'll knock you right off your block! I mean, what good reason could you have to act like an antisocial asshole? The only time you did talk to me was to spout some vague nonsense about Luke! What was that all about? Were you somehow expecting me to just accept everything as it is? You really shouldn't go near that man, Becca. Why? Because you don't trust him? I wonder if you actually trust anyone. Aside from the three of us, Zack, Isabella, and myself, do you even have any other friends? If you're perfectly fine with that, then go ahead. No one is stopping you. But don't expect me to share the same views. I can have a life of my own. Friends that I don't necessarily share with you. I'm an adult, Ashton. And I can make my own bloody decisions. I sure as hell can choose the people I want to let into my life. Of course, she's allowed to do as she pleases. I never mentioned she couldn't. Us growing up together doesn't mean it always has to just be us two. It's a dumb idea to believe in when nothing ever remains constant. Things will inevitably change through the years. She'll make friends with people outside our little circle. I'm just as free to form relationships with other people. But why of all people did it have to be him? Why does it have to be Luke Wright? That guy is nothing but trouble. How can she defend a guy like that? 
She's already calling him Luke, for Pete's sake. I trust Zack, I trust Isabella, and I trust you, Rebecca. So why can't you trust me on this? You need to stay away from that man, because he's... I... I really wish I could tell you. What was that saying Isabella mentioned before? A liar is a brother of a thief? People who look at me now will probably say I'm a hair's breadth away from being a criminal. Z-Man said something like that once, a few years into our relationship, or in a, in a few years into our friendship. I laughed it off back then, but now, they're, they're probably right. Little by little, I'm becoming the very person I hate. How ironic. The silence afterwards brings an even heavier air between us. Something that Rebecca, thankfully, doesn't allow to linger more than necessary. I suppose you have to go now, huh? The situation's already awkward as it is. Dragging this out will only make it more... What? Difficult. Messed up? As if it isn't already. Back to your case again? Don't really have to. I have no case. As far as the job is concerned, I have the weekend off until I have to report to the chief on Monday. Although I don't want to just throw in the towel on this, orders are orders. This isn't like the movies. I don't get to say F off, throw my gun and badge at him, become some vigilante, save the day, and get my job back. I'd rather get my butt thrown in jail than do any of that. But it's also not in my nature to just sit still and do nothing. It will drive me crazy if I just idle about. Besides, there's someone who has to know about this whole Luke Wright thing. Yeah, I need to go talk to Professor Clark. And there's something else I need to look into. The other matter she mentioned last night, specifically. Same stuff Zachary has also been trying to tell me. Things even the news have been blasting out in the general populace lately. Evening, afternoon, morning. All deaths with the same modus. Blamed on a single serial killer. <clears throat> or is it still the case? Found dead in the early hours of the morning today. The fire was contained within the room and no other tenants were harmed, according to Lux Police. We're grasping at straws as far as those murders are concerned. In the first place, I'm not even the one heading this investigation. Yet look at me, treating it as if it's another high-profile case on my shoulder. How sad is that? Although all three of my friends have mentioned seeing something strange, I don't want to go into that line of thinking, for now. Not yet. Not until I've exhausted every logical argument I could throw at it. To be honest, though, I don't know how to take all of this anymore. But I've already given Isabella my word. It'd bother me more if I didn't follow up on a promise I made her. And after Rebecca's claims last night, there won't be enough sarcasm in the world if what my friends have been telling me is true. I can already hear Isabella's laughter, in fact. Figures. What else can it be? It's not another case. It's something else. That issue Isabella mentioned yesterday morning. I'm sure you remember you were there. Well, at least you're not neglecting all your friends. Becca, I promised her I'll... She doesn't want wait for me to finish. With the roll of her eyes, she turns around and shuts the door in my face. She's jealous. Definitely jealous. It's like, yeah, oh yeah, you listen to Isabella. But you won't listen to me. I see how it is. Okay. You'll pay attention to her, not me. Ah, oh, that poor girl. <clears throat> I have no idea what I've said this time, but... I probably deserve that. We'll just have to fix this some other time. By then, her temper's sure to have cooled off significantly. Hopefully. Hopefully. 